Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So we're going to finish with this one. Yeah, we're gonna finish strong. We're going to hopefully, I've had a couple of these anniversary ones and, and we're going to hope this one's good. So this is Firestone Walker uh, Anniversary Ale number 23. Uh, this is 11.5%. Firestone Walker, of course, is Paso Robles, California. So um, every year they put out their anniversary ale. They take, uh, they take basically wine blenders, uh, a group of them that come in and taste different barrels of different of their beer styles and everything and do a master blend basically and put that out, different percentage. So they always put this little thing. So uh, let me read what this one is. 10 point, or the Sticky Monkey, 28%. Parabola, 28%. Bravo, 20%. Bourbon Barrel Hell Dorado, 15%. Velvet Merkin, 5%. Tequila Barrel Hell Dorado, your favorite, 4%. Um, so they, they, they put the names, and there's several people that were the distinguished winemakers and friends that, that, that contributed to this. So uh, if you guys didn't know any of those, you can look them up, but it's basically quad, stout, uh, brown ale, barley wine, milk stout, blonde barley wine were the styles of those beers. So, you know, dark and just rich, thick, boozy beers. Uh, like I said, this one clocks in 11.5%. Not to mention that it's the first beer I've ever had that has a parchment that came with it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it better be that yeah. and so phenomenal. And so there's the blend, there's the blend. And then you look at this side, you get like a, a history. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, was, it's... I got through the first two sentences <laughs> and I was done. So but anyway, we're gonna, right, let's try we're gonna finish on it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's look at the color. I mean, that's dark for that it, blended. Yeah. You can see you can some see ruby edge. purple around it, and the the has a light tan, uh, creamy kind of creamy white tan, but it's dissipated. Holds the glass. Let's get the right. nose. Ooh, Ooh, that smells really good. It smells. I get mostly barley wine. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say I fruits. get this combination of sweet red grapes mm, and okay. brown sugar, caramel, yeah, toffee, candy, raisin, brown sugar. That's what I get. Yeah, raisin. Oh, oh. smells good. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. everyone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the one. That's Parchment the one. beer is good. Mm. Oh my gosh. So lots of flavors, very complex, but wonderful. Um, definitely get the, the red grace, but the, the predominant flavor what's coming through is this sugar, like this caramel, burnt sugar, mm -hmm. toffee. I mean, it's so much candy. Mm, this, yeah. oh man. It tastes a lot like a really good barley wine and then you get on the back end, kind of a stout note to it is what I get. So mm. to me, the front end is barley wine, mm. the back end is more stout. Yeah. A little thin, but I mean, it is thin. for a blend, you kind of expect that. It's thin, it's smooth. Again, mm. I get hit with it's this good. like raisin grape fruitiness, like mm. it's the first, but then immediately replaced by these burnt sugar, candy, caramel, oh, toffee, yeah. these really candy, uh, sweet notes. Mm. Mm. It's not so sweet that, you know, sometimes you get crystallized sugar on your lips. Not quite that, um, but uh, it is nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. I can see the stout like you're talking about, but that's, I mean, that's kind of behind yeah. all those notes. It's on the back end, but it's Thin, good. like you said. Man, it's good beer. That is a good beer. Um, so the question is, you have a beer like this, mm. I mean, how do you rate it? Because you have to rate it based on what you like, yeah. because it's a blend of so many different things. And I think it's it's very well done. Yeah. Um, sometimes you blend beers and it just gets messy. It yeah. just, you, you don't get any predominant flavor. But mm -hmm. to me, the predominant flavor here is more barley wine. Yeah. Uh, which of course I love. For me, you know, it's, it's a minimal four or five. I'm kind of questioning yeah. if it's a little higher than that. I'm gonna get it to four or five. I love it, it's solid. Yeah, four or five too. Yeah, I really dig this beer. Yeah, it's a great job. I mean, I, I'm very impressed. I, I know I was making fun because they have a parchment with it and a box. So a parchment and a box. I mean, that's that's a, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I get it. Not just a piece. It's of not paper. just a piece of paper. Parchment. It is. Yeah, you, that's not you standard. Roll like so. a scroll. Okay, so it's a scroll. <laughs> but it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't scrolled like that. But it was curved. You know. I mean, it's more than just a normal piece of paper. Right. There. It's not just a parchment is, note. Parchment is fair, but um, uh, you got to love it. I mean, it's cool. I, I love these anniversary beers. I've had several of them. Love them all. I think yeah. they're really well done. I think they did a great and job. And you know, I would love to be invited as a friend or a master wine blender, even though I'm not, just to be able to... That would be awesome. Imagine that party. We could document on video. Yeah. Uh, that would be great. Yeah. Invite us. We'd love to come. Imagine in. that party with 20 of your closest friends, or not even closest friends, it doesn't matter, just beer buddy drink, mm -hmm. coming and, and tasting wines. Like, put, you know, 
throw more of that one in there. I love that. Put more. Oh yeah, that's good. How much fun would that be to, to blend that beer? So I'm skeptical. I'm just saying that that's the percentage they have left. <laughs> and so they're like, well, we've got 28% of this and 28% of this. Let's just put it all in and hope it's good. They invite a bunch of friends to drink and whatever's left, they combine it and add it away. Here's what we That's got. what they did. That's exactly what that yeah, There was no science to it at all. They just put it all in and said, you know, this is what you get. Yeah. And it turned out good. It did. It's wonderful, enjoyable. It'd be fun. Oh, yeah. It'd be. Ooh, I was just thinking, get from one to twenty-three. Yeah, and then you wouldn't taste anything after about no, five or six, no. depending on your point. Plus, I mean, it's you know that some of those would have fallen off a yeah, lot. Yeah. So anyway, this is fun. Glad yeah, I got to do this one. Good, a good one to end on. And uh, anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can't the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks. <laughs>